Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. I'm Claudia and today is episode 6 of Women in Harry Potter. In this episode I'm discussing everyone's favourite Ravenclaw, Luna Lovegood. She is a character who most readers have very warm feelings towards. She only appears for the first time in the Order of the Phoenix, of course. Every time I read the previous four books, I wonder where has she been all along. It's incredible that someone who's only been in three out of seven books and is missing from the first four books has made her way into so many of our hearts. I think Luna is a truly unique character and there are so many things about her personality that I admire that I made a list and I'm going to present it to you now. So the first thing that we actually notice about her through the eyes of Harry the narrator of course is her weirdness. She is just unashamedly weird. It's easy to say about people like her that they don't care what people think about them Often people say that about themselves as a justification for rudeness. You know, oh, I don't care what people think of me. Luna is not like that. We know from later in the books that she does very much care about people and that she wants to connect to people and form friendships. But what that first scene in the train in The Order of the Phoenix tells us is that she doesn't feel the need to change or pretend in order to impress a gang of older kids that have just sat across from her on the train. Her weirdness is of a very specific kind, too. Like, the thing that strikes Harry the most about her is her brutal honesty. And again, it's not of the, oh, I'm just being honest variety that people, again, say as an excuse for being rude to other people. Her honesty comes from a very different place, I think. And that is a genuine need to be truthful at all times. I was trying to think of a time where Luna was being deliberately deceptive and dishonest. And I could only think of one scene and that's in the Deathly Hallows. So this is in the Deathly Hallows right after Voldemort has died and all the fighting has stopped. And she sees Harry in the Great Hall and she says to him, I'd want some peace and quiet if it were me, she said. I'd love some, he replied. I'll distract them all, she said. Use your cloak. And before he could say a word, she had cried, Oh, look, a blibbering humdinger, and pointed out of the window. Everyone who had heard looked around, and Harry slid the cloak up over himself and got to his feet. How lovely is that? So she sees that Harry wants a bit of peace and quiet and then she makes up the most ridiculous lie in order to give him the time and distraction to, you know, get away from the people. That is the one scene that I can think of where Luna lies and it's adorable. Hello Minervi. So that scene also shows how incredibly perceptive Luna is. Minerva. Yeah, that's right. Just stay there. So even in the very first conversation that we have with her on the train, she points out to Ron that Padma Patil really didn't appreciate how he treated her at the Yule Ball. And she doesn't do this to be rude to Ron or even to bitch about Padma Patil. It's just something that she's noticed because she cares for other people. So why does Luna notice these things? Like why is she the one who recognizes Harry when he's in disguise at Bill and Fleur's wedding? So I think she notices these things because she actually observes people through their own pretensions and their own acting because she herself never acts. She doesn't put any effort into disguising herself in a way or, or changing how she appears in front of people. So she sees through people's own appearances very easily. Luna is generally a very caring person. Like There are so many times in the books where she puts others before herself and she ignores her own problems in order to help others. The, the two most striking moments I can think of are at the end of The Order of the Phoenix when Harry is grieving for Sirius and she cheers him up just with a simple chat. And then in the Deathly Hallows when she is locked up with Ollivander even though she's in a horrible situation, she puts all her effort into making this imprisonment as nice and comfortable for him as possible. She shows an incredible amount of emotional maturity throughout the books and such a personal strength 
for example, she's the only person who's capable of actually saying a few words after Dobby's uh, burial, even though she barely knew him. Something we forget about Luna is that she has gone through some serious trauma. As she tells Harry in The Order of the Phoenix, she actually witnessed her mother's death when she was young. And I think it's this quiet strength of character that makes her such a remarkable character, that makes her really stand out from the other children in Hogwarts. Her maturity also shows in the way that she deals with the unknown, and I don't mean the silly things that her dad writes in the Quibbler, but I mean the unknown that is all around her. She doesn't understand, for example, why the other Ravenclaw kids bully her. So, so in the Order of the Phoenix, when she chats to Harry in the end, he asks her, how can people hide your stuff? And she says, oh well, she shrugged. I think they think I'm a bit odd, you know. Some people call me Looney Lovegood, actually. So she knows that she is a target of bullying. She doesn't know why, though. But it doesn't really matter to her because things always show up in the end. Similarly, she doesn't quite understand, for example, what is behind the mysterious veil in the Department of Mysteries. She doesn't even understand why she has to go there in the first place. She just knows that her friends need her there and that's why she goes. I mean, Sirius Black, as far as she's concerned, is, is either a mass murderer or a pop singer. Either way, it, it just doesn't matter to Luna because she is needed there and so she goes. Luna is okay with the world around her not making sense and I think that shows a very mature kind of wisdom. There is so much more I could say about Luna, but I'm going to leave it here for today. Please tell me in the comments um, what you admire about Luna, what you think of her as a character, and especially what you think we could all learn from her. Thank you for watching. Bye.